Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So this was sent to me, and I find this very interesting, and it's the theoretically same passage from the DCC 8th printing. 8th printing, I think, was 2021-2022, and the 10th printing, which was from spring of 2023. For the DCC RPG. And Goodman Games has been in the news because of their uh, indie RPG creator summit that didn't really show indie RPG creators, showed a lot of the old guard, oldish guard, showed Goodman Games employees and associates. So let's just show what's going on. Eighth printing. I'm going to read both of these passages, and then I'm going to go through them kind of piece by piece. Eighth printing. That you are a fantasy enthusiast of imaginative mind, familiar with the customs of role-playing, understanding the history and significance of the Elder Gods Gygax and Arneson and their cohorts, Bledsaw, Holmes, Jacques, Cask, Hunts, sorry, Hunts, Metzner, Moldvay, and Ward, and knowledgeable of the role of judge and the practice of adventure. Now, the 10th printing. And then we're going to go through how this has totally changed the meaning, but there's a reason for it. That you are a fantasy enthusiast of imaginative mind familiar with the customs of role-playing, aware that a party is strongest when it is most diverse, acknowledging fantasy's roots while helping it grow to meet the challenges of the future, and to be acquainted with the role of judge and the practice of adventure. Now, I'm going to just mention that when DCC was released as a game, there were a lot of complaints or a lot of comments. There was one person, uh, Dick Tricky, Tricky Dick, who uh, had a meltdown, but saw that there was. He claimed it was a conspiracy, and the conspiracy was that DCC had nothing to do with old school gaming. It was simply third edition with new veneer, and it was being packaged to appeal to old school gamers by using certain words and imagery. And that Goodman was only doing that because he felt that's where the money was at the time. So, where's this? Where's the money at this time? Well, let's take a look. First sentence or first line of both stays the same, but understanding the history and significance of the elder gods and goes on to name all these people that are important in OSR gaming and old school gaming. That's the crowd that Joe Goodman was aiming for back when DCC released. All right? 4 was uh, being pushed to the side. Joe jumped into the 4 pool. It didn't work for him. He got screwed, and I'm making my own game. Built it off the OGL in the third edition engine, but he was going to make it old school in nature, right? And that was the market that he was aiming at. Well, guess what? He's already converted that market. You are no longer important to Joe Goodman. And I'm going to say this about Joe. Joe is a good businessman. And what did Joe learn? Well, he learned something doing these classics reimagined reprints of the classic adventures. All right? He learned that there is a market for old school games to some extent but that people wanted to play it with new school rules. Well, so he's no longer aiming at saying DCC is about old school gaming. No, no, no. DCC is about the future. DCC is about where gaming goes after 5e. He's setting himself up for those 5e refugees and saying, hey, I have an alternate system for you, and I've been doing this for a while, and it's for you. 
You don't need to know anything about what came before. I'm not here to appeal, appeal to your knowledge of the creators of this hobby. Fuck them. They're not important. What's important is a party that is most diverse. And we'll acknowledge fantasy's roots without naming them while helping to grow to meet the challenges of the future. What does that have to do with an RPG? Absolutely jack and shit. Absolutely jack and shit. But it is to appeal to what Joe perceives to be the 5E player. Now, before you were to be knowledgeable of the role of judge and the practice of adventure. Now, you don't need knowledge, right? Knowledge means experience. No, no, we don't. That's too high a bar to set in this day and age of gaming. We want you to be acquainted. You've heard, you've heard of judge, right? That's like a DM. You've heard of people doing that role, right? You're acquainted with the role of judge and the practice of adventure. So the bar has been set a lot lower. Again, when DCC was first being pushed, it was to be a game for like almost elitism, right? That's what he's kind of saying. Hey, you know about all these great people. This is the company that you're keeping. And now, oh, that company is a bunch of old white guys. Scratch them off the plate. This is what we are aiming for. And I'm not saying Joe is wrong to do this. But this is why Joe screwed up with this whole announcement. Because he's caught between two worlds. And he doesn't know which world he wants Goodman Games to go to. I'm going to tell you from my perspective. The number of people who have reached out to me privately and have told me that throughout 2023, they've been divulging or div sorry, divesting themselves of their DCC RPG collection. Some gave it away. Some sold it off. Uh, I'm, I don't use the rules. I occasionally use the adventures. And the adventures are written by people that I consider uh, friends in a hobby. However, do not think that DCC RPG and Goodman Games is concerned about you, the OSR, you, the old school gamer, when it comes to who they are marketing towards. You are no longer the market. They, you are, your business is already assumed. They don't need to market to you. They are going to take you for granted. Just like political parties take aspects of uh, the voters out there, right? And they say, oh, well, we know how, how this category always votes. We don't, have to, we don't have to put any effort into their vote. Well, guess what, OSR gamers? We're DCC. You're, flyover, you're a flyover state now. You're a flyover state. 5E and Joe is expecting refugees. When uh, 60, d and Forever, uh, that was coming out in May, but then they had to say, oh, we never said May. When it comes out in about six months, DCC RPG wants to be that alternative, just like it was the alternative for d, &D players who didn't want to go to 4E. Joe plans to make it the alternative or 5e. At least that's how I see it. Because why would you market it? Why would you change your pitch from appealing to old school gamers to appealing to a whole different group? Uh, and I'm sure I'm going to get pushed back in the, in the comments. That's fine. There's going to be people that are Goodman Games uh, fanboys. Hey, you've put out good stuff over the years. I give credit where credit is due. And I'm giving credit for a change over here. Tell me what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Like, subscribe. It all helps this channel. And other than that, there should be a live stream tomorrow night. Maybe special guests, maybe not. We'll see. In the meantime, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. I'll catch you all 
tomorrow's.